Let's get to four downs now, brought to you by Craft Treats. Four downs brought to you by crafttreats.com. Use the promo code off the hook to get 20% off. We're going to ask Fred about running backs. Four downs now. Four downs. Four questions. Four answers. The Dave Hooker Show. Four. Four. Four downs. A presentation of offthehooksports.com. Uh, first down, Fred, best running back that you've ever seen. Not even necessarily on the same field. We'll get to that. Greatest running back I've ever seen. I'm going to go with my own, Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis. All right. Makes the next one a little bit more difficult. Oh, hold on. Let me, let, me, let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me back up. Greatest running back I've ever seen, Marshall Falk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, that's a that's a really good one. He gets lost sometimes in that he was the ultimate dual threat. Yep. Nobody else like him. All right. A thousand so this yards makes, rushing, a thousand yards receiving in the same season. Yeah, that's insane. All right. So this makes this one easier. Uh, second down, the best running back you played with is Jamal Lewis, and why? Man, he, because he can run around you, run over you, and he can juke you. He can carry in the end zone. He run away from you, run away from you, get in the end zone, and you did not want to just face him straight up. No, he ran so angry. Mm-hmm. Best running back you played against, Robert Edwards, hands down. Oh yeah, really good one. Uh, if not for the injuries, he would have been special. Yeah. He was hurt in that beach football game, yep. wasn't he? As a rookie, that was a big stupid idea by the NFL. Mm-hmm. Let's go play football on the beach. <laughs> see if we can tear somebody's knee backwards. Uh, did they have to pay for that? I think they had to pay like a five million dollar claim. Yeah, didn't they? Good. He ended up making it back to the NFL, which tells you how great of an athlete he was. Yeah, because his knee was completely sideways. It was mm-hmm. terrible. A uh, very good. It took, it took some years, but yeah. And did when, when did he roll his ankle against you guys? Was that ninety five? It was, oh, it was 95 when you – it mm-hmm. felt like he was about to take that game over and he rolled his ankle. Dave, uh, he had 199 yards at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> you say that like you remember it vividly. I do. <laughs> <laughs> 99 yards at halftime. No, I, no, no, not, not 99 yards. He had 199 yards at halftime. Gosh. Um. Okay, and then I'm going to ask, uh, ask you fourth down, the best running back that you ever shut down. It's brought to you by crafttreats.com. Go to crafttreats.com. They got the chill pills, which Tennessee's defense could have used on that day because it'll help you with anxiety. It'll help with digestive issues. This is actually for your pets, though, and also arthritis. Uh, go to crafttreats.com. Use the promo code off the hook to get 20% off the chill pills and all of the other craft treats products. They're holistic, great pet treats that you will love crafttreats.com use a promo code off the the best running back you ever shut down Fred. that means they want the best if you ask me but <laughs> the best that you shut down <laughs> I mean, you can't pick robert edwards because he got hurt in the second half i mean we shut down a lot of people that running back that they that I, don't, I don't consider them the best though um I'm going to say this because I know he doesn't like me. Sean Alexander. <laughs> oh, why does oh, he yeah. like you? That's right. <laughs> why, why, does... doesn't he, why, why doesn't he like me? Yes. Okay. Is there a story? Before we played Alabama, I, play, I had a friend of mine that went to Alabama. And every every game, you know I, you know I did this, Dave. I, I told you this a long time ago. I was the guy who had the scouting reports on all the other guys, like their kids, their girlfriends' names, their parents' names. That type of stuff, right? So yeah. I would seek whoever went to that college to try to find out, hey, does he have a girlfriend? Who's his, what's his mama name? Uh, does he have kids? Whatever. Well, I found out what his na- girlfriend's name was. Her name was Jennifer. And every time I tackled him, I would scream Jennifer. Like, you know what, man? Jennifer's coming out. She's coming to my house after the game. You know that, right? She's, <laughs> she's, with, she, <laughs> she's with Katie. Katie's one of my friends. She's up here with Katie right now. I know where she's staying. She's going to be at my house for a night over here. She's in, <laughs> she's in the suite right now. She's in the player suite. And you know, he was he you know he's a Christian guy, devout Christian. He, you know, he don't curse nothing, no drink. Listen. So the entire game, I am antagonizing him the entire game. 
I am talking about his girlfriend, and I'm cursing in front of him and everything, calling him punk and a B word and all kinds of stuff, right? And he is going to the referee, and he's telling the referee to get me to, to stop. The referee says something to me, and I went right at the referee and talk, called him and said, <laughs> "You can't, you can't go to the ref and say stop that guy from talking to me, can you?" Then, then he tried. All I did was talk more. I knew we had him out of his game at that point, and that's why he didn't have a good game against us. We shut him down. Was that Absolutely. the game where y'all sing "Who Owns Alabama"? Like to sweep yep. Alabama at the end. That's it. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> this is I got a lot of high fives after that game because they were like, "Man, how did you find out what his girlfriend's name was?" I just told him, "Look, I made some phone calls and I got it." Well, I think you got to remember this is before the internet too, and it's easy. So Fred's <laughs> really going after it. He's like Magnum PI here, and I will tell you, I played the "We Own Alabama" song that was for those that haven't heard. It's to Sweet Home Alabama, and I played that in two thousand, and I got. Five phone calls that said, that's not good sportsmanship. What are you doing, Dave Hooker? I don't, <laughs> I don't like you on the radio anymore. And I was like, I thought I was in big time trouble because I just started with WNOX at the time. And, uh, yeah, that's how different sports radio nowadays is gone. If you played that nowadays, somebody would say, that's too soft. You need to call them inbred or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, man, it was, it was right on cue, right on time. And Dion Grant was the one who started it. And it was just like, you know what? Let's roll with it. Let's go. Well, <laughs> we've mentioned this before, but the Celebrate 98 series is coming up uh, here by the end of the month. We'll have our first few episodes. And I hope Dion is one of them. And I hope he starts the first uh, sentence that when we ask him questions about the 98 team, this is a big project that we've been working on, that he'll, he'll answer it like this. Almost definitely. I like that scene and whatnot. <laughs> Have you ever noticed he starts every question with almost definitely and ends it with and whatnot? Yeah. <laughs> you could you could say, hey, did you go to the grocery store, Dion? He goes, almost definitely. I had to get some soap and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Do not tell him that I said that before we have him on the show, Fred. I won't, I won't tell him that. I got I to gotta say one last thing about Sean Alexander. Oh, no. He wouldn't, he, he wouldn't shake my hand after any game. He wouldn't, like, literally, I see, I've see. i seen him at several events. I mean, 20 years later, I saw him at an event, an SEC event. <laughs> me and Al Wilson and Jamal, he spoke to Jamal. He spoke to Al. He walked right by me. <laughs> oh, wow. And I had, I had my hand out, like, hey, man, how you doing? And he was like, he looked at me and just turned and walked off. I was like, I said, I see Jennifer enough must not have came back home that night. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love you. Oh, you know I'm putting this for our social team. You know I'm putting this for social, right? This is golden. You're going on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Fred, Fred White permanent. Here's the headline on the YouTube video. Fred White permanently dismantles Sean Alexander's ego. <laughs> Future NFL MVP. 20 years <laughs> later, comma, Sean Alexander can't let it go. Hey, he can't let it go. He does to not be fair, like the it. year he won MVP, Peyton should have won it, but that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Fred, I, I have, a, have a blessed day. On, what's what's that? You, yeah, yes, that, I agree. Mm -hmm. no, Fred, have a blessed day, man. Uh, we're so excited about getting together on the Celebrate 98, and it's going to start rolling. And almost definitely, it's going to be fun and whatnot. You need to make that like a um, like a something we can say all the time you know, as you record him saying it because he's gonna say it. You need to record oh, yeah. him saying it, and then every time we talk about something, this is right, like almost oh, definitely. <laughs> I'll do that. You need that sound bite. <laughs> that, this is this is such young Dave Hooker. This is like twenty three year old, twenty four year old Dave Hooker, and I remember standing next to Dion and thinking. This is a whole no another level of athlete that I'm now covering because I wrote about some high school stuff, but he is a legit six five. And when you stand next to him, you're like, oh my goodness gracious, this this is the guy running around doing stuff, and he's a legit six five. He's six three. Six three. Six three. Did I give him too much? Yeah. He gave him two more inches. He's six, I got three. you, I got you at six one. So I figured you uh, I'm more like six feet. <laughs> I figured you'd let me give you a few inches. All right. No. Nah. <laughs> hey, 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 don't say that, Dave.